When is a winning record considered a failure in sports? For the UTSA Roadrunners, their failure was a 6-5 year without a bowl appearance. However, after two consecutive winning seasons, UTSA is now one step closer to their ultimate victory, their second postseason berth in school history. We don't want to be in the same position we were in last year. We always want to um, obviously do better and put ourselves in the best position um, and put ourselves in a position to compete for a conference championship. So a uh, different type of focus, I'd say, um, a better focus, um, specific focus. And we don't want to be left out of no ball game. That, that was like a hurting feeling for us. So everybody working and striving to go to a ball game and, and be the uh, conference champs as well. I expect the most, you know, go to a bowl game and win conference championship. We're together more than we have, we've ever been. I just feel like it's on every, every end of the field from special teams to offense and defense. So all three phases, we're, we're, we're gelling together a little bit better. We just have to put points on the board at, at all times. Anytime we step on the field, we're not coming off until we score. And the punting's not an option this year. Sorry, Yanni. The Roadrunners hope their first padded scrimmage earlier today will set the tone for the rest of the season. Josiah Tala'efa described it as a lot of excitement, a lot of bodies flying around, excited to be on the field going live. It's the kind of intensity UTSA needs to maintain if they aspire for more than just six wins. With Sports Tonight, I'm Kyle Spieshock. You're watching Sports Tonight, San Antonio's only nightly 30-minute sportscast with exclusive sports coverage you won't find anywhere else.